You know, as I reflect on this year's Independence Day celebration, um, I'm, I'm grateful for lots of things, and, and, and particularly the things that freedom brings. The scripture tells us that it is for freedom Christ set us free. Isn't that interesting? That it's freedom itself that's the reward. And I think sometimes in the, you know, in recent history, we've sort of forgotten how special our liberty is, our, our form of self-governed government really is. But it's also, I think, highlighted just how very, very special American liberty is. So on this 4th of July, I, I'm, I'm grateful as always for those founding fathers, for the men and women who fought in the very first war, the Revolutionary War, who stood up for the people and created a federalism system with states. And most of all, I think about the men and women in uniform since the Revolutionary War who have stood in the gap for our liberty and frankly, who fought and died for the liberty of people everywhere. So on this 4th of July, as we celebrate the holiday with our friends and family, doing whatever it is we're doing, you know, I'd like us to, to really reflect on the cost and to reflect on how we celebrate liberty the other 364 days of the year. And my advice would be live like free people. Thank you. Happy 4th of July. God bless you.